2 0 outcome with uh, Green Bay today. Uh, you outshoot them, you get some positive chances and, and positive looks on goal. What was the difference in the game? Yeah, I, mean, I think the difference comes down to credit to Green Bay in the first half for taking advantage of a critical mistake on our part of the back with the ball and capitalizing on that. And then from there, they uh, put out a good, solid, uh, disciplined defensive effort. They got the insurance goal in the second half. And despite us being able to outshoot them, earn a couple corner kicks in the second half in particular, uh, we were unable to uh, come up with that finishing touch at the end of the day. And uh, I think, you know, again, I'll give our student athletes a tremendous amount of credit because regardless of where the results have been this season, they continue to fight. They continue to show resiliency. They continue to show the ability to bounce back in adversity. It's, it's just those um, final pieces of execution that have unfortunately not come together for us. It seems like they were content to kind of play low pressure and let you possess and move the ball. But when it got to the finishing third, that they really tightened the screws on you a little bit. Is that what you expected coming in? Or, or is that how you anticipate the game playing out? Yeah, I thought that for sure we knew we were going to come up against a very uh, defensively organized team. Uh, I thought that they would press a little bit harder upon loss of possession and actually make it even more difficult for us to earn the attacking half of the field. So I was pleased with our guys' uh, composure and patience on the ball to be able to get past that initial pressure and earn the attacking half. And then from there, uh, you know, do, do their best to create some stuff from an attacking standpoint. But overall, I think, you know, after watching video and the scout, that's exactly what we expected. Now, like you said, your team has, hasn't shown any quit all year long. Um, where's that come from? I mean, especially as you kind of wind down the season and still seeking results. Where, where's it come from that the guys haven't given up anything? Yeah, I mean, I think we talk to them on a daily basis about what's internally motivating you to be here. Why do you show up on a daily basis and, and put in the work to improve um, for this team as an individual soccer player, but then to help make the team better? And, and what is that thing? And hold on to it. And then uh, prior to a game, ask them to remind them that, hey, that's there for you. That should motivate you. And if you are doing that for yourself, you have a little self-efficacy in that piece. And then the guy on your right and the guy on your left has that. And we can have trust and commitment in one another that we're going to get the job done on the day. And um, you know, while it hasn't necessarily generated the wins and loss or the wins in particular that we'd like to see um, it's still those are the baby steps that you got to take along the way towards winning games um, we're, we're learning a lot of things as we go through this and um, if at the end of the day we have a team that wants to work that wants to improve and that never wants to quit on a daily basis I'll take that uh, every day of the week over um, a, a team that wants to show up and ball out and win games and and show up with a lackluster effort ups and downs like an erratic heart rate or something like that I'm pleased with the way our guys approach their business on a daily basis and I think it's credit to them as people now, lastly, senior day, uh, not the final home game for Uriel and Harold, but, but certainly an emotional day. What is it you will take away from these two seniors? Yeah, I think um, for sure the leadership that they've shown. Uh, they have, over the course of their four years here on this campus as student athletes, they've gone through some tough times um, as, as soccer players in terms of the way the results have fallen for the team and the program, uh, but then also as individuals. They've both had to battle back from injuries and through those things to get themselves fit and to get themselves into a place to where they can lead this team and play 90 minutes uh, of every game. And I, I think that if perhaps you look back at things and uh, we have a healthy Uriel coming into preseason and uh, maybe there's maybe there's a different story at this point in the year and he's not just now finding his stride but he had his stride when we started this out and you know maybe he's sitting on a few more goals so uh, we'll definitely take the leadership piece away from him and then hopefully they can pass along to the uh, to the guys just that individual resiliency and uh, effort to continue to push through adversity regardless of what's thrown at you all right thanks for the time Coach. yeah absolutely appreciate it